Hi guys, in this video we are going to learn what are anagrams and how to find out whether two strings are anagrams of each other or not. So what are anagrams basically? Let me just take in two examples that is uh, listen and silent for the first case. So here I have the string 1 as listen and the string 2 as silent. See. The characters that are inside string 1 are same as the characters inside the string 2. That is the count of the characters as well as the characters inside both of the strings are same. And the most important factor is that the length of the two strings must be same. That must be the first condition that we must be looking into. So see, L occurs once in this lesson, L occurs once in silent. I occurs once in listen, I occurs once in silent, S occurs once in uh, listen and so on in silent also. So these two particular strings can be said to be anagrams of each other. So if I run a function then uh, it would be returning me true that these two uh, strings are anagrams of each other. The second thing is that uh, let's take an exam another example elbow and below. As you can see that the characters inside elbow and below are the same and the number of occurrences of each character is also same. But let's see for the third example that we have taken is A, A, B, C, D. Okay. A, A, B, C, D and A, B, B, C, D. See here A is occurring twice whereas A is occurring only once in case of the second string and B occurs twice in the second string as B occurs once in the first string. So this we can say is not an anagram and it would be returning a false value if uh, it is run through a function that is suppose saying if whether the two strings that we have provided is anagram or not. So let's just go into the coding part. Before that we must discuss about ASCII values. Okay. ASCII values we would be using very much in this particular uh, in this particular series of string videos in order to uh, solve our problems. So what are the ASCII values? ASCII values are a numerical value that has been provided to each and every character that is present in your keyboard. So there are 256 ASCII values. So instead of uh, uh, so in order to maintain the count, we would be also keeping an array of 256 length and we would be checking it okay so the we would be having an array of 256 length and we would be keeping the count of each and every character in their ascii values and we would be checking whether the count is remaining the same or not so let's just jump into our code and i will be explaining you how exactly we would be doing it so let's write a function as def is anagram and let's just pass in two parameters s1 and s2 so if len of s1 is not equal to len of s2 so as i had said before that we would have to first check in the length of the strings only if the length of the strings are equal we would be asking the question of anagram or not so it is very much obvious that if the length is not equal there must be a character that is occurring more or there must be a new character in the larger string that uh, thus we can see that that particular string is not that that particular pair of strings are not anagrams of each other so we would be returning false here if the length of the strings are not equal it would be a capital F so now if the length of the both of the strings are equal then what would be the second step as i had said you that we would be maintaining a uh, array of 256 length in order to maintain the count so this is basically the uh, it would be maintaining the count of each and every ascii value that is uh, present inside the string so since there are 256 maximum ASCII, uh, ascii values therefore we can create a list as count is equal to 0 into 256 
so this is how you initialize a zero array of a particular length if i provide a thousand here it would be giving me a thousand length array that is the um, in which at each index the value is zero so initially we would be keeping the count as zero for each and every ascii values and uh, uh, as we would be traversing through the first string we would be increasing the value if a particular character is present and through the second string we would be decreasing the value so let's see what we uh, what we would be doing for i in range we would have to find out the length of s1 so in order to find out the ascii value in python we would have to use an inbuilt function known as oid so we would be increasing the value of that particular index in the count array so count of oid of s of i we would be increasing it by 1 okay this is for the first string so i am getting an error here yeah it would not be s it would be s1 the first string is referred to as s1 now we would be traversing through the second string for i in range len of s2 and while traversing through the second string we would be reducing the values of the particular ascii uh, of that particular index so count of oid it would be s2 of i we would be reducing the value by 1 okay so now as you can see that if each if any character is present inside that particular Uh, string that particular ascii value would be increased by one and if that particular character is also present in um the string 2 we would be decreasing it by one so any number of occurrences at the end if both of the strings are anagrams of each other we must be getting a zero the entire array or list must be containing zero only if there is any non zero values that is either positive or negative then we can say that these two strings are not anagrams of each other so now we would be traversing through our uh count list so for i in range it would be 256 and if count of i is not equal to 0 then we can directly return false because the values are not the same because the character uh, th this implies that that particular character or that particular ascii value which points to a character is uh, its occurrence in both of the strings are not the same okay so we would be returning false and if we could complete the entire loop of this then we could obviously return true because all of the values inside that particular count array is zero so let's take in some inputs so s1 is equal to for the first case we would be taking in listen and for the second case we would be taking in silent okay and if is anagram if i pass in the two strings s1 and s2 here and if i get a value of true i would be printing yes else i would be printing no so as you can see that these particular uh, two values are anagrams of each other what if i do i change the value of listen uh, i change the spelling of listen to listen because in this case what is happening is that in string 
i is occurring twice whereas in string 2 i is occurring once and there is no occurrence of e in the string 1 and there is an occurrence of e in the string 2 so it is obviously not an anagram of each other if i run this particular code we would be getting no as our output thus saying that these two strings are not anagrams of each other let's take in an example that we have taken for not anagram that is a a b c d and a b b c d a a b c d and a b b c d and we are getting no as our output again so thus we can say that this particular code successfully uh, helps us in finding out whether two strings are anagrams of each other or not and this we had done in an order of o plus n uh, o of n plus the alphabet size what is the alphabet size uh, the alphabet size is equal to 256 so since alphabet size is a constant value so we can also say order of n as the time complexity and the auxiliary time complexity uh, auxiliary space that we required here was we created a count array that was of 256 length and thus the auxiliary space would also be of order of alphabet size but since the alphabet size is a constant value therefore we can also say it as order of 1 so it is a constant space that we are using so thanks for watching this video guys i hope so this helped you and see you in the next one